What is up, everybody? Uh, this is Angelo Demetrius with a review on the game that you see loading, WWE 2K14. Um, we are actually going to hit a lot of points in this review today. We're going to hit some major points. Uh, and I'm going to start out with one of the first major issues that I have with this game. Now, I know a lot of you might be saying, Angela Demetrius, we know you're probably going to talk about all the online hacking, spamming, whatever that goes on online. That's actually going to be last in this review. I'm actually going to hit on some important things that I thought were pertinent to being a, a professional wrestling fan. Um, uh, someone who's worked in professional wrestling, also a gamer, and I'm going to hit on those first. So, first things first. First thing I'd like to hit on is the fact that uh, 2K14 and Utes are going to have to do a much better job with the engine. Um, one of the flaws that I see with this game is that uh, for some reason it is more prevalent in 2K. It's more prevalent in the 2K series. And, and first let me, let me also say this. I'm not going to be that hard on 2K because this is their first game. You do have to give them a break. They are trying to see what the bugs are and what the issues are. They are probably trying to see what the kinks are in their game. This is their first. But 2K, as a gamer, as a fan, please listen to us. I don't do these reviews for myself. I do these reviews for the fans and so that the fans will have a better gaming experience as well. And I'm sure this isn't the only review that you guys have had on this game already, but I, I think that it will be helpful. Um... One of the major problems with this game is this. Um, having the save manager on this game is awesome. It automatically saves. I think that's great. I like the automatic save. Some people don't. But then it becomes a problem when during, uh, you know, maybe you've turned the game on for the fifth time. Maybe you've turned it on for the sixth time, however many times you've played it. You've got all your downloadable content downloaded. You have created characters. You've customized characters. Uh, like you see here with uh, The Rockers, Shawn Michaels, Marty Jannetty, Earthquake, and Typhoon. And then later on, I mean, you've changed everybody's clothes. And if anybody else is having that problem, please leave comments at the bottom of this video so that uh, Ukes and uh, 2K can see it. You go back to play it later, maybe for the seventh or eighth time, and a big message pops up on your screen and says, uh, WWE 2K14 file has been corrupted. And your Xbox, maybe it's brand new. Maybe it's, it's you know, you've got an awesome Xbox like I do. But it comes back that your file has been corrupted. Your 2K14 file has been corrupted. This is actually more prevalent in 2K14 than it is in any of the other WWE games that I've ever had. And it's happened in other WWE games. You can find and research online uh, this problem reoccurring in other WWE games, but not as much as it has in 2K14. Um, that is one of the worst, I would say, issues about this game, uh, is that... You lose all of your downloadable content, all of your custom content, because of a corrupt file. Uh, there is a suggestion that says to cut off the automatic save manager, but then if you do that, you have to save things like maybe two or three times before it's actually saved into your system. So, 2K Ukes, listen, that is a huge flaw there. That's something that needs to be taken care of, because then we have to go back into our game and take another two, three hours, four hours, two, three days, whatever it is, before we can actually play online and customize, download, fix all of our characters again, download all of our arenas again. 
Which brings me to my next issue with this game. Your online server is not the worst, but it is pretty terrible. And, and I, I want you to know, I'm, I'm actually being nice with a lot of the things I'm saying. I could say worse, but I'm being nice because I want to get the, drive the point to you. I don't want to be harsh and mean. Um, if I look for, let's, for example, say Diamond Dollars Page on Community Creations... I find Diamond Dollars page and say it's made by, I don't know, uh, uh, Hulkamania number eight. We'll say that's the guy's name. And something happens where I lose Diamond Dollars page because the game says the file's been corrupted. I'll go back to Community Creations to download that same Diamond Dollars page. And instead of 30 Diamond Dollars pages popping up like it did before, only one will pop up. Huge problem. Huge problem, because now your system is saying that only one exists when before I had 30 Diamond Dollars pages in Community Creations to choose from. So your server, from time to time, it just doesn't even work at all. Um, trying to get online to play, sometimes your server doesn't work at all. Uh, I know THQ had a huge problem with this. So, but anyway, that's an issue. Moving right along to, of course, hacks and spams. I have to say this. 2K Utes, listen to me closely. The engine is simply going to have to be changed. If you do not change the engine, the hacks will know exactly what to build, how to build, and what to do in order to create characters with unblockable moves, in order to create characters that have uh, a no damage hit point ratio on the hit points, 2K, Ukes, you have got to come up with a better engine for 2K15. There is talk amongst the WWE gaming community of boycotting the next WWE game to be released if these issues are not fixed. Another major issue I know with me is having a, a, a drag spammer come into the room, and let me explain to you what that is. A drag spammer is someone who comes into the room and constantly holds the head of their opponent and drags them across the ring wherever they want to, uncounterable, unblockable. Also, the grapple front face lock, uncounterable. Whoever I, who, whose ever idea that was to make unco uncounterable, unblockable moves on the game, I would say don't fire them, but I would definitely say reprimand your team and say, listen, this cannot be happening. This does not create fair gameplay. You have, a, you have an option on here that they started actually in uh, WWE 13 last year that's called Fair Fight. Well, is it a fair fight if I take my, my opponent and drag him across the ring time and time again uh, to a corner, shove him down, pick him up, and then drag him again? No, that's not fair. So what actually needs to happen is you need to either put a time limit on that drag grapple where you hold them by the back of the head and drag them or you need to get rid of it altogether because it is one of the worst things that happens to me and I know other players, there's multiple videos of this happening online. They're drag spamming. Um, and once again, the issue with any of the other hacks being able to run over and roll somebody up and just hold them and get a win or uh, being able to hold somebody up in the air and throw them down like there's a, a hell in a the cell there there is no hell in a the cell there so on and so forth Ukes, 2K, you've got to come together to come up with a better engine before the release of the next game it cannot be the same engine these hacks know exactly before the release of your game how to release it because they understand that you're using the same engine. So I hope this review has been helpful to 2K and to Ukes. I also hope it's been helpful to some fans that love to play this game. Um, please leave comments at the bottom of this YouTube video for uh, Ukes and 2K to see. And my last, my, my last statement on this video is simply this. For those of you who hate uh, uh, review videos like this, 
You hate it when people like me or some other <clears throat> other gamers actually send out messages about you online because you're spamming or you're cheating. You don't know how to play the game, but you cheat very well. You're good at, you're good at something. Probably the only thing you're good at in life. You cheat very well. Um, we're gamers, and we're in this for the competition and the fun of it online. It's not fun if you know you're, you're supposed to earn points, get points, and you lose because someone came in, didn't want to play by the rules, didn't want to wrestle, didn't want to do whatever you know the rules require to win a game. It's not fun anymore. It's not fun when you come in and somebody's hat kicking you and you have no control over it. You ring escape and all they do is hat kick and you're back in the ring again. That has nothing to do with the competition or the competitive spirit of this game. It's very fun. Me and my friends compete against each other online and I know other friends do. And it's, it's fun to do that, win or lose. You know, we just want to have a clean cut game, clean competition. I don't care if we're in an extreme rules match and we're beating each other up with chairs. That's better than getting hack kicked or getting spammed all the time, whatever. You know, good, clean competition. If you don't like what's being said about the game, you always tell us, stop playing the game or play a different... No, you need to play a different game. You need to stop playing the game. You play something else. Let the gamers who want to compete in this game play. And if you don't like what's being said, one, you don't have to listen to it. Two... You do not have to play the WWE games. You stink at the games, obviously, if you have to spam or hack. You obviously stink at them. Play something that you're good at. If you're good at anything, you probably are. Play something that you're good at and leave the, the wrestling games to people who love to play these games. I'm Angelo Demetrius. Thank you for listening to this review. Again, leave comments at the bottom of the box for 2K and use to see so they can see your outrage about this. Tell them your opinions about the game at the bottom of this YouTube video. Thank you. Have an awesome, awesome day.